Michael, welcome to Halloween Daily. Thank you for talking to me today. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, yeah, man. We are, are, we're all so excited for Halloween Kills, of course. I mean, we're, as we're recording this, it's, it's just over a week away from the film's theatrical release, and it's really real right now, believe it or not. It's been a long time coming for a lot of us, a long wait for <laughs> us fans, but it's, uh, it's finally here. It's finally happening, and uh, I was saying on our live stream just the other night that, you know, we, as a community of fans of this franchise, need to just enjoy this moment that, you know, that we have, because Michael Myers is everywhere right now. It's, the commercials are on TV every 15 minutes. Uh, the ads are on all the social media platforms everywhere you look. Uh, there's new music and the older films are all being re-released in stores. So literally everywhere you go right now, it's uh, pretty awesome. So this is a real treat for us and, and for myself as well to uh, have you here today. Yeah, it's been it's it, you know it's been wild seeing just uh, the the proliferation of Halloween everywhere. I know several people who are like, you know, watching the entire series for the mm -hmm. first time, or um, people who are constantly being like, "Yes, I keep seeing the the, the trailers and commercials." Um, for me, it's it's very weird. Like it's not very weird, but it's 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 finally here after yeah. uh, after you know uh, two years now, mm -hmm. um, have uh, two years on from having filmed it. And, and and a year on from its delay, it, it's it's wild uh, for it to all suddenly now be here. Yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of how I feel a little bit too. You know, in a way, it seems like it's taking forever, but then in another sense, it's like, oh my gosh, it's already here! I can't believe it's it's finally here! It's already here, and we're just a few days away. It's pretty wild. It's um, I I I always joke about uh, being on set, being on movie sets is kind of like that too. Like it's a lot mm -hmm. of like. Um, it's it's all very very quick process from the time that like they say hey you're going to be doing this so then it's like mm -hmm. okay days before you're like on set working and then uh, everything is hurrying you into hair and makeup and costumes and then there's a lot like hours of waiting to actually do anything after that and then after, once you like start doing stuff it's again right very hurried so um, it, it feels like it's been since Halloween 2018 it's been a three year wait for this mm -hmm. now like huge flurry of activity. And since that, uh, since that trailer dropped, it feels mm -hmm. like the rush to the movie has been super fast after a very long uh, period of just nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels the same way here, like exactly <laughs> as, you, as you just described it. Um, well, before we talk about the films, and, and uh, let's, let's start and just learn a little bit about you and where you come from. And we sure. here at Halloween Daily, you know, every day is Halloween, so we always like to ask about the holiday itself a little bit. So I'll start off with where did you grow up and did you celebrate Halloween growing up? Um, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland originally. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, we, I mean, we've always dressed up for Halloween. We've always mm -hmm. celebrated it. Um, and, you know, we used to like get dressed up in costume and go to the mall and like go around to the different stores and get candy and stuff and then hit our neighborhoods. Um, it's uh yeah, it's, it's, it's like I have I have a lot of fond memories. I I was at a wedding on Halloween last year in oh, wow. costume. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I you know I I'm a I'm a big fan of the holiday. Um, and and yeah, um, it's and, and continuing now because you know I I have a I have a daughter and uh, mm -hmm. my wife and I take her trick or treating every year and she's a big fan of the holiday too. She's been hounding me for weeks about her costume. And, um, <laughs> So as, yeah, as I mean, she should though, you know that. Yeah, yeah. As she should. I actually, need to, I actually need to put together my costume uh, <laughs> for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to put together my costume for this year. I'm actually a little behind. Yeah, yeah, and um, that's again, like you said, that's been one of my great joys of parenthood too. You know, having Halloween and always celebrating it, but, but really getting to experience it from a child's perspective all over again, um, being a parent, and that makes it really special as well. Um, absolutely I, and we still, I think we still have some candy from last year like I need to like yeah. <laughs> figure out what I'm gonna do about this bucket of candy that's accumulated <laughs> over the past year I, oh, I yeah. need to like find a place to empty it out so that we can start over again in a few weeks yep yeah oh I know the feeling totally <laughs> uh, speaking of candy do you have a favorite Halloween candy and how about a favorite Halloween costume Ooh, those are really good questions. Um, my favorite, I, you know, I, oh man, I, my favorite Halloween candy is probably just like, you know, 
I, I, I like candy. Like I've got a sweet tooth. I, I eat a mm. lot of candy. So, you know, uh, Skittles, Starburst, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, Halloween, Halloween candy is the only time in which I eat, um, three musketeers. And I really like three musketeers, yeah. but I never like buy them throughout the year. I just eat the minis whenever, uh, they show up. Mm -hmm. I also like the little mini boxes of, um, the strawberry nerds candy. Oh yeah. Big mm -hmm. fan of those. Um, yeah, I think those are like my favorite Halloween candies. Like I'll go to the store and just buy the the Halloween candy bags <laughs> of the nerds and eat all the strawberry ones and then be like, will somebody eat these grape ones? <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite Halloween costume? Oh, what a great question. Um, in college, my go-to, I still have it. I haven't worn it in a couple of years. My, my go-to in college was this Charlie Brown costume that I made. Um, oh, cool. I like bought a yellow shirt and drew <laughs> the lines. So it actually looks like a drawing of, of Charlie Brown. Oh, um, that's awesome. So that's that's one of my favorites. Also my, like my favorite go-to. Uh, I was Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas, my freshman year of college. Loved that costume. Nice. Um, I, my wife and I are cosplayers. Like we'll go to conventions. Like we go to Dragon Con and, and, oh, cool. and, and stuff. So I've worn, um, you know, uh, I've got a, a, a costume for the Shadow Man from Princess and the Frog that I'll wear on Halloween. Um, um, yeah, I, I, but yeah, my oh, my favorite. Yeah, I guess my I guess my Char the Charlie Brown one is maybe my favorite Halloween costume because it's yeah, I, I just like it. It's so versatile. It's so easy to, to like put on, but it's such a like recognizable character. Um, but yeah, awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, like you said, instantly iconic and recognizable Charlie Brown walking around. Very yeah, this cool. year, my daughter, my daughter's being Evie. Yeah. Um, this year, so I actually need to put together a Pokemon trainer. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be her trainer for Halloween. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a blast. Oh man, y'all, that's great. That's great. And and I love hearing that you guys are cosplayers too. You know, mm -hmm. and and yeah, we love. Uh, going out to the conventions and photographing the, the cosplayers and, and all the contests. I mean, that's like one of our favorite parts of, of covering the conventions we go to. I love it. I, I the, the hardest thing about the past like two years has been not no time to go to conventions yeah. and not, and there not being any conventions yeah. to go to. I, I desperately miss them. Um, I, I was really sad not to go to Dragon Con this year. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I already got my hotel for next year. I'm going back no matter what happens. Um, but like, yeah, I, 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 I love it, man. It's like Dragon Con is my favorite place in the world. Like yeah. it's, it's my it's my favorite four days of the calendar year. Like just go. I'm in costume for four straight days. I'm mm -hmm. constantly. I'm only going back to the hotel to sleep and change out, and uh, I'm just walking around, getting my picture taken, mm -hmm. hanging out with other cosplayers, being weird for four yeah. straight days. I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it's a blast and a great community too. It's just a just a good time every time we're around. Uh, you know, any of those convention scenes like that. It's it's always a blast. Absolutely. Uh, so when did you first become interested in acting and, and performing? Um, so, I, you know, I always tell everybody, I mean, I, I played Santa Claus in second grade, and it's pretty much been uh, a steady <laughs> From then on? Since then. I, I, look, I got the part. I, we had auditions. <laughs> um, I was a very skinny young child, but we, like, tied pillows around me to make it work mm -hmm. because I just, I was, I ironed that part. Um and I, I really got serious about it in middle school. Um, okay. At middle school and then the high school. And that, I mean, it's been the, you know, uh, look, I, I saw I saw Jurassic Park in theaters opening night in mm -hmm. 1993. Um, and so seven-year-old me was like, I, I want to be a part of what, this. Like, this is what my, I'm going to, my life is going to be doing this mm -hmm. because this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, and I want to be a part of that. And, um, you know, I've been interested in, in acting ever since. And uh, like I said, I, you know, it was, my, it was my focus in high school and I got super serious about it in, in middle and high school. And, um, I've, I, you know, I've, I've, everything else I've ever done has been supplement, like has been in addition to that, but it's always been my, my uh, life focus. It's been I a guess. constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I I went to college for it. I, I mm -hmm. did internships afterwards. I've worked at a, a theater company. Um, I live in Charleston, South Carolina, and I've I've worked okay. in a I worked at a theater company here since 2011. Um, and 
Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I st stage, screen, um, I've gotten to do some voice acting this year. Like, it, it's, it, as long as I'm getting to, like, portray characters, like, that's all I want to do. Very cool, man. Yeah, that, that, that sounds awesome. Um, how about scary movies? Have, are you a horror fan? Have you been? Is, is that, do you like scary movies? So this is really interesting because I, you know, I wasn't for a really long time, um, particularly, I, I don't know when I like, you know, as a kid, you're, you're kind of into the theory of them, but they're, they are scary. So like, yeah. it was, you know, hard to say that you're like into them. Um, mm -hmm. I, I will say that I, I, I've always been into the Scream franchise. Like mm -hmm. the Scream movies are my darlings and I, yeah. I, I love them dearly. I think they're some of my favorite movies of all time. Um, mm -hmm. And then, but then I, for a long time, I got out of horror. I, I, I didn't really care for, you know, I think Saw is one of the best scripts I've ever heard and one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Like, like, in the theater for Saw, I, I started squirming and my brother was like, are you okay? And I was like, oh, I just wish someone would read this to me. I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> um, um, so I got out of horror for, for a long time, but you know, the last uh, 10 years or so, mm -hmm. um, certainly the last six, um, I, I've, I've really come back to the genre. I, I, I've really discovered a lot of things that I either missed and really enjoyed, mm -hmm. um, but like even even in the past like ten years or so, I, maybe even starting a little further back, like The Descent, I loved The Descent, mm -hmm. and it was like oh, the yeah. first horror movie in a while that I was like, oh, I actually love this movie. Mm -hmm. um, I was super impressed with the first two Paranormal Activity movies. I thought they were really smart yeah. takes on the on the last time that I actually was freaked out by a movie, which was you know in junior high watching The Blair Witch Project, like. Mm -hmm. um, and and then and then there's been a lot of movies in recent years. I mean, so you know, stuff like Get Out, stuff like uh, Midsommar, stuff mm -hmm. like um, the uh, oh um, um, the eyes of my the eyes of my mother. Is that the name of that movie with the two kids who like torture their mom after her surgery? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I know the one. No, that's called that's called that's called. Oh my goodness, that's called something else. That's called. I, I know mother. the one you mean though, but I'm forgetting. It is something with mother. It's something mother. with mother. The eyes of my mother is a movie about a woman who's parents are murdered in front of her or something and then they torture and kill the murderer also a cool movie love that one um but yeah like i've gotten really into like indie horror movies psychological mm -hmm. horror is a big thing for me i'm a yeah. big fan of that love psycho like I, the, mm -hmm. the original halloween i think is a great film like i you know i've i've really come back around to appreciating horror in a big big way i think my favorite horror movie though the one that the one that has not left my mind and i think is just brilliant is raw mm -hmm. from what th three four years ago now mm -hmm. Um, that movie, that movie got to me. I love that. Yeah. One. That one's great. Like Raw, that's probably my favorite recent horror movie of the past few years. Um, but yeah, no, it's become a genre that I've come back to and really started to, like, really started to appreciate and mm -hmm. um, and love. And I've, I've made several recently in the past few years. It's become like a genre that, like, if, you know, between doing the two Halloween movies and then you know, my filmmaker friends are constantly making like indie horror movies. Mm -hmm. It's, it feels like the genre that I've been most represented by lately. So that's cool. um, yeah, 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 I even I even made a, a horror film this year. So you know, it's a, a direct wrote and directed a, a short horror film this year. That so it's it's become a genre that like for a long time wasn't one that I enjoyed, but has mm -hmm. come back around to being one that I, I really appreciate and and really really dig. That's awesome. And and you mentioned the original Halloween is one of the ones that. Um, I was going to ask you that um, before working on Halloween 2018, were, how familiar were you with the the original film or the franchise in general? Had you seen, um, I guess you'd seen the original at that time. Had, were you at all familiar with the franchise or a fan of that, like Michael Myers specifically at that time? Or I hadn't seen a lot of them. Um, mm -hmm. I had taught the original in classes. Like I, I, re oh, you know, cool. I really really like i'd seen the original and then i really came back around to uh, like loving it mm -hmm. by teaching it in classes mm -hmm. actually okay. um, in like in, in film history classes um and the, I, I taught at a private school for many years and I, I still work you know i i i teach as often as i can now and um i uh so so i, I had seen that one i'd seen halloween h2o i saw mm -hmm. that one when it, like right when it first came out and I, I enjoyed it i didn't like resurrection as much mm -hmm. um 
and that was kind of it. I had really only seen like those three. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, and I had seen the first Rob Zombie one. Mm-hmm. I had seen that one. Uh, and I didn't like that one either. Mm-hmm. One of the things that I enjoy about the Halloween franchise is I, I, Michael Myers as a monster is scary because we're given no explanation for why he's doing anything. Right. Um, which, you know, which I think makes him as a monster scary because he's just like the embodiment of, of evil. Um, and I, I, I just, so I had an issue with Rob Zombie's movie of spending like almost half an hour going, wouldn't you want to kill these people too though? Don't you right. get it? I was like, yeah, I get it. Yeah. But that's, I'm no, now no longer afraid of this monster. You've now, you're trying to make me empathize mm-hmm. with an abused child. Of course I do. What do we yeah. think? You now want me to be scared of the monster? You made me empathize with an abused child. Mm-hmm. Like, so I, I, I thought it was a misguided attempt to give backstory that I don't think anyone needed or was asking for. Right. Um, uh, you know, so so that was I, I that was my issue with the Rob Zombie ones, and that was yeah. pretty much it for for you know I, I was aware of some of some of the other ones, but I had never actually seen them. Um, and then, but yeah, now you know, and then getting to work on 2018, which I thought was such a fresh um, fresh take on rebooting the franchise, oh, yeah. uh, was was super cool. My, you know, my my wife's a huge Halloween fan. Um, like we we of course own them all except for the ones mm-hmm. we're not allowed to own because she hates them, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I mean she was super excited about the reboot. Anyway, mm-hmm. me having you know me being in it was a small like you know caveat of like oh it'll <laughs> be a cute scene that you're in. That's <laughs> um, but yeah, she like you know my wife's the. Scream was my franchise, mm-hmm. and uh, Halloween was was hers. Oh well, that that makes it even cooler that she, you know, was already excited for the film. And uh, but I love that there's like, oh yeah, yeah, your scene is like the, the cherry on top. But that's <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, and yeah, that's awesome. I'm a huge Scream fan too. So maybe another day we'll come on and talk about the new Scream movie that's that's coming out next year. I know I yeah. know we're gonna have a lot to talk about that in uh, in the time. Can't films. wait to see it. Yeah, I'm like stoked. I was like, for, like when they were when they were saying that it were, they were making, it, I was like, I oh wow, what? And then like, I was like, oh no, wait, is there is there any possibility I could be in it? <laughs> no, I didn't end up getting a chance to be in it, but I I would have I would have loved yeah to have been it. anyway. I can't wait to see what they do with it. I I I love those movies, so I'm very excited. I, I'm disappointed. There were things that I was hoping they would do after Scream 4 that I don't think we're doing because I think we're kind of doing another reboot mm-hmm. of it. Um, so I'm a little disappointed in that because I thought we had some really cool places to go after Scream 4, but I'm excited to see what they do with it. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm, I'm same here. I'm excited to see where they go and uh, they say it's going to be a big love letter to Wes Craven in general, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that and yeah, the fact that they got so many of the original cast to come back on for a fifth movie I mean, that, that certainly says something. Um, first one without Wes. So. Um, <laughs> but let's talk now a little bit about 2018. Um, how did you get your role? I, I, we talked to uh, your co-star, Carmela, just a few days ago. And uh, you guys, in the 2018 film, your, your characters are credited in the closing credits. You are the hunky doctor, and she is a sexy nurse. And we, we know now in the, in the new film now that we bet your characters now have names and it's uh, Vanessa and Marcus and we're going to learn more about them. But walk us through a little bit getting the the role of uh, what would be Hunky Doctor in uh, Halloween 2018. It was really interesting because, you know, we, we, um, uh, we went, I, I, well, I can't speak for her audition process, but I, I went in for what was basically just a general audition for Haddonfield's residence, basically. Okay. Um, you know, they were just filling out the town, um, and, and I went to this audition, it was like me and one other guy, and we were just kind of, uh, doing something where we were like reacting to one of Michael's art pieces of dead corpses. Um, so we did that, um, and then that was kind of it. 
I mean, that was kind of the audition. Um, that was basically all I did. I don't, I want to say maybe they called me back in for one other read. It was like a specific scene. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that, then that was really it. And I didn't know it was one of those things where I was like, oh, well, maybe they'll give me like, I don't know what they'll, what they'll have me do. Um, and then I got the call that was like, hey, they'd like you to come in and do, do this, this small, this small part which wasn't in any of the stuff that I had read for, but that happens, you know, all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, great, cool. That sounds awesome. Um, I'll I'll, I'll go in. And and, uh, once I like got the script and and could read and see what the scene was, I was like, oh, that's really neat. I was super excited to find out later that it was going to be the, the one, the, 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 the single take Mm -hmm. uh, through the neighborhood. Cause I, I love, I love um, long, I love long takes and Mm -hmm. and tracking shots like that. And, so I was super excited to be a part of filming that because I, I was like, I was like, you know, uh, th- that's cool. Like, it doesn't matter how much of like, you know, this is like, it doesn't matter how much of this I'm in. Like, it's just cool to be here and like see yeah. all the prep that goes into that um, from a filmmaking standpoint. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, that was it. It was basically I went in and, you know, auditioned for like a townsperson resident thing and that turned out to be, I, I basically got the, 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 the offer and then was it was basically like, hey, you're a doctor who shows up here and I was like hunky doctor okay great uh, we didn't have to do like a shirt test or anything or um, <laughs> <laughs> they weren't they weren't like going it is it has been an unending uh bit of hilarity for my friends and everyone who knows me <laughs> to be like they just love now referring to me as hunky doctor as like one of my nicknames um like <laughs> one of my friends was like I watched the movie and I kept looking to be like who's this hunky doctor it's like okay yes this is every, every time they were in a scene that could have a doctor like in, in the beginning scene at the uh the institution they were like okay there's a bunch of doctors around here <laughs> which one they were just looking for me with my shirt That's off and great. I was like nope it's not what it is <laughs> it's a Halloween costume <laughs> that's hilarious that's awesome so, um, so it was just that audition, and then they they contacted you and said, "Here we go, and now you're going to be hunky doctor." Um, so, can you w- tell us a little bit about your time on the set uh, filming? Um, was was it just one day that you guys were there? Um, it was one. It was one night. Yeah. One night. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like a month after. I guess I, okay. I, I want to say I got the call in December. Okay. Um. Yeah, I got the call in December, and it was like mid, mid or late January when we filmed, and um, I, I, uh, yeah, it was it was a really cool it was a really cool night. You know, I, I, I we shot it here in Charleston, and, and mm-hmm. um, we there was a whole neighborhood that they basically blocked off. I love that they film um, so much in just regular residential neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then you know we it was basically a long night of of hanging out, um, trying to shoot the the scene, which you know if you it, doing a long take like that, so many things have to go right to get it right. So there were a lot of things we did a lot of like practice runs of it. We did a I lot bet, yeah. of um, we did a lot of takes because there were there were things that weren't I think things that weren't like technically going right um, mm-hmm. that they were having to fix. Uh, I know there was particularly one makeup effect that was not quite working and finally they were like okay we're just gonna do it in post and like get it together Mm. um it was i remember it being a long night it was cold i remember it being a lot colder than i thought it should have been um one thing if you've never been to charleston is that it's it's such a flip of a coin between december and uh march basically usually we don't get very cold weather um and then there'll be days or nights where just like for some reason it's super cold. Mm-hmm. And this was one of the nights where it was like, oh, this is so much colder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, everyone on set was I, I love working with everyone over at Rough House. Um mm-hmm. I've worked with them a couple of times now, and I I, I love that crew. And, th- and this was no different. I mean, you know, uh, uh, working with David's always great. Uh, working with Jim was really cool. Like he's mm-hmm. such a he's such a uh, such a nice guy and and so warm and and open and welcoming to everyone mm-hmm. on set. Um, it, 
really made it super easy. And, Car- and you know, getting to know Carmela um, as we, you know, sat in this, you know, holding house and, and waited for our, our entrances and exits. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a very pleasant, very straightforward evening of filming. Um, you, you mentioned um, meeting James Jude Courtney and uh, t- tell us a little bit about that, um, like when you first met him and then also when you first saw him actually with the Myers mask on. Um, can you tell us a little bit about those moments? So you, you meet him and he's a very, he's, you know, like I said, he's a very nice, very like um, thoughtful guy. He's really smart. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he, he's, he, he talks about, he, do, he does a lot in, in his life. Oh, yeah. And he, He's very quick to share um, yeah. you know, the various things he's doing, the diets, the workout, the, the travel, like just anything. Like, yeah. you know, he just likes, he's one of those people who just likes to sit down and talk, um, mm-hmm. which is great, especially yeah. at holding when you're like, you know, when you're on the set, if, if one thing takes forever. So, you know, you're, you'll, you'll do a few takes and then it's like, okay, everybody go to hold it. Cause we're going to, you know, it's going to sit here for like an hour or so while they set something up. Um, so, you know, hanging out with him and getting to know him was really cool. And then, yeah, it's such a, it's such a thing. You know, there, there are so many iconic characters in film, but, um, and there are so many iconic, like, pieces of film, you know, uh, like the masks, right? And and Mm -hmm. when, you know, when you're standing on a set and you're looking over and you're like, oh, wow, that's the Michael Myers mask. Like, that's it yeah it's, it's a it's a very surreal experience um like <laughs> being like it because you you know you spend so much time with some of these things seeing them on mm-hmm. on camera it, being there in person with it is um uh, is very surreal and it, it's like a, a, the first time you do it you're like oh wow oh 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 that's the that's the michael myers mask that's that is michael myers okay cool all right and then you're like, oh, wait, we're rolling. I should probably get back to here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And like you said, being part of that tracking shot, I mean, I guess that must have taken a, a lot of prep and rehearsal just to, to get it right. I mean, do you remember? I mean, did they just run through it the one time? Or, or do you remember how many times they had to run through it? Um, I know we, I, we you know, with, we, we walked through it several mm-hmm. times it, you know, doing practice, mm-hmm. doing setups, uh, making sure everyone knew where to go. Cause it's, 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 you know, it's, it's James, um, mm-hmm. you know, it's the shape it's, it's me, Carmela. It's the, um, you know, the person he kills in the, in the one room to get the knife. It's the yep. woman he kills at the very end. Um, mm-hmm. you know, she was really, I love, she's stunt. She was a stunt woman. And I love hanging out and talking to the stunt people between any takes. Like I, stunt crews are always super cool. Um, yeah. They have the best stories, and oh, then yeah. <laughs> right, but so you know, it's so it's all of us. These are those are the mm-hmm. key players, right, in the scene. And then there are tons of extras. This and it, you know that scene is mm-hmm. a trick or treat. So it was a it was really w- wild getting to set, and there already being all these people dressed up in costumes because they told all these families and kids as as background to just come in costume, come in like whatever costume. Halloween That's costume. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, they did the same thing in in Halloween Kills. Like, it was just, it's so weird coming to set and it was being like, oh, y'all are already in costume. <laughs> but that's supposed to wear a costume. Uh, so, so there's, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces and that's just on-screen talent. That doesn't account for, you know, the camera mm-hmm. crew. Sound, like, you know, what can you, where can you shoot sound, right? If it's a moving target, right. you, if you're gonna boom it at all, that boom has to be constantly working outside of frame. Um, you know, there's there's just so many moving pieces on a movie set, and especially when there's a tracking shot where you you run, you don't have the luxury of we're not the camera's not going to see over here, so everyone's over here. So it's just a lot of moving pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, there was a flurry of activity. It took a while to get, yeah. you know, the, 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 the movement right for the camera, for the actors, for the timing, for, you know, us coming down the stairs and coming around so that, mm-hmm. you know, the camera's catching any of that. Um, it, you know, it, it, we, we rehearsed it a lot. And then, and then we spent, like I said, the rest of the evening shooting it. Um, mm-hmm. And, and we, we shot it a lot, mm-hmm. you know, um, 
just you know one or two things being out of place we we would go again mm -hmm. um like i said there was a, a makeup malfunction towards the uh, at one point so we they had to keep trying to get that to work and reset it and like fix it yeah um it was it was a long night uh to get that shot uh understandably and but yeah it was it, it, we 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 rehearsed it we rehearsed it several times i i lost count <laughs> like I lost count of yeah. the exact number, um, but we rehearsed it a lot, and then we shot it a lot. Uh, you know, at least, mm -hmm. I mean, at least eight to ten times. I gotta, I gotta say, yeah, yeah. So I, I bet it would have taken that many. I mean, just to just to get it down. Yeah, I mean, simply yeah. said, so many, so many variables and moving parts involved there. Um, I think it came out great, though. I love it. Oh yeah, I think it's I definitely it, I'm like, it's so impressive. Yeah, it's one of the best scenes in, in the film and, and really, you know, it's kind of a, a homecoming for Michael, you know, in, the, in that film and everything. And But like you said, from a technical standpoint, it's, it's really impressive and fun to watch as well. Um, and this is, uh, you worked with Carmela and you guys are husband and wife and it's a very quick scene, but, you know, you guys do have some dialogue in there and you do get to kind of have some banter a little bit and it's kind of a fun husband wife like you um it, it's like i forgot the uh stethoscope let me run back and get it and, and i think she says something like you don't you don't need it just you know i got <laughs> the costume's not complete without it and uh it's not and, you but it was in my pocket oh yeah yeah so um can you talk a little bit about working with her and just um it seemed like even just in those those brief seconds there in that film that you guys did have some good chemistry and um and obviously, I mean, I guess, you know, David and everybody saw that, but we'll get to that in just a second. But but on the day, I mean, that was, you know, that, that seemed like you guys had some pretty good, you know, banter um, in character there in that scene. How did that come about? You know, it was cool. Like, we, we you end up spending a lot of time with people on sets. And, mm -hmm. and one thing about actors on set is that they were immediately just like, let's find, let's very quickly start talking and find some common ground so that we're good so that we're all good here just mm -hmm. to be you know just to be cool just to have chemistry and it was super easy like Carmela and I you know um have are, are similar in a lot of ways um super and it was very easy for us to like fall into that rhythm and routine um which I think helped because a lot, you know I I can I can't remember how much of what we were saying was scripted um okay it's been a while since I've gone back and looked at the script, but um, yeah, like, so we, we, you know, we had a little bit of leeway with it um, to, to, to play with it a little bit. I know David gave us some like tweaks and stuff here and there. So we, you know, we, we, we ended up getting, you know, basically, you know, with the lines, we, we, we were, we were there to play. There was, you know, there wasn't anything super rigid to what we were doing. There weren't, you know, so mm -hmm. we got to, we got to kind of feel it out ourselves and we would talk you know we, we ran over we ran through it a bunch of times but we talked I mean we spent the entire time yeah. um hanging out in there talking getting to know each other um and just kind of like enjoying getting to work on the movie like there's you know there's also that thing too of like two actors hanging out on set just kind of being like wow can you believe we're getting to do this like this is yeah. such a cool movie to get to work on and um so we we both had that too the the, the feeling of like wow, we're so excited to be getting to do this, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, and, and that, so that was pretty much it. Like, it was a very quick, like, like I said, we only hung out, we got to hang out that night, but I, I you know, we, we hit it off as friends really, really quickly. Um, and I think that certainly helped build that sort of, like, chemistry uh, that mm -hmm. comes through in that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely comes through, like I said. And I've, I've rewatched the scene, you know, a couple times and, prepping to, to talk to both you guys and um yeah and just that that quick you know little scene there is you know a relationship there and um uh, i think it's really exciting that we're gonna see more of those characters um but before we get to the sequel just the first time you saw the finished film halloween 2018 um can you tell us a little bit about that experience and your reaction to to seeing the finished film for the first time um I was still I was still teaching at the time, and so the first time I saw it, I actually saw it with like students. We did like oh, a, okay. a Saturday um, a Saturday trip. We basically like told high school students like, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna go see the movie." 
Mm-hmm. Um, and they, we made it like a thing. They filled out permission forms or whatever. And mm-hmm. they, we, you know, met, like we brought some of the students in uh, to a screening of it. And so the first I, time I saw it was like, sorry. I just, got, I just have to say that is the coolest high school field trip I think I've ever heard of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, sorry to interrupt, but I think that is definitely the coolest high school field trip of all time. Come on, come see this. Come see this horror movie that your teacher's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, we 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 went. So I was it was I was sitting there with like my wife and some friends, and like there were stu- like some of my students were like right next to me too. And uh, so you know it was that that was my first time seeing it. it was like the day after it came out. I want to say maybe yeah, it was a Saturday after. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was just a theater full of people who like you know knew me or, or my students and everything and and we we all had a really good time watching it and and uh you know everyone was really into the movie and and then uh when that scene started uh the the, the moment uh, you can hear me speaking mm-hmm. everyone who came with us was like oh and like started they like laughing and <laughs> cheering and stuff and i was like yep that's that's my yeah that's my part in the movie guys like oh, that's me right there um so yeah, it was you know it, it was it was really it was really cool. It's the coolest way to to see that movie for the first time. I thought too. Um, yeah, you know, surrounded by like my friends, my students, my wife. It was pretty. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a lot of fun, and like you said, the right way to experience it for the first time. And um, and and so so what'd you think? Did you did you like the film just as a as a film fan yourself? I, I mean, could, could you remove yourself a little bit and just kind of it, you know what? I, I really could. I'm, I'm in, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm in like, you know, I'm not in a ton of it. Right. So I, I, mm-hmm. it was, it was very easy to remove myself from the movie. Um, mm-hmm. because yeah, because you know, I, like, like I, like I said, my, my wife enjoying the movie. I'm, I'm a, it's, it's a small thing to be like, I helped make this movie. I, I, I am up there, but it was also, you know, it was a movie that's driven without me. So I, you know, I got to just watch it as a movie and I enjoyed yeah. it, you know, I, I really dug the, you know, I, there were a lot of really nice modernization touches, like the minute, the minute the two researchers showed up, I was like, they're here for a podcast, I know what yeah. they're here for, like, <laughs> yep. and, uh, like, you know, and, and um, seeing Jamie Lee Curtis play this, 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 um, this, uh, you know, older, um, mm-hmm hardened Laurie Strode was was really cool I I really liked the direction they took the movie I I I, I thought it was uh, a brilliant way to reboot it and 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 retcon the franchise um in a way that modernized it for where we are and talked about you know the concept of generational trauma and all you know these these different these different things I I thought it was I thought it was great I, I, I don't know if I'll have the same, I don't know if I'll have the same feeling about like being able to just enjoy it as a movie with Halloween Kills because I'll be in so much more of it. Mm-hmm. And I'm very worried. I'm like, I'm like, oh, am I going to be able to just watch this movie or is it going to be weird because I'm in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> we, we will see. Yeah. Um, well, let's, let's talk about that now. Um, when did you realize? So, so 2018 came out. It was a huge hit, and, and you know, made a ton of money and big return for the franchise. They um, they announced the sequel the, the following year. It was like uh, summer of 2019. They announced they were going to make two more films. Mm-hmm. That's when we, the fans, first learned that they were definitely making more. When did you? first learn that they wanted to bring you back and develop this character more in the sequel? So I think I knew, I think I knew, and I don't know how I knew this. I don't know if I knew this just because I was in 2018 or if I had read it or saw something, but I knew that they were making a trilogy. Okay. Um, that I that I knew. And um, again, I don't, I don't remember how I know that. <laughs> I feel like I was like, Oh, maybe maybe they mm. hadn't announced that yet. Maybe I just maybe I knew because maybe we had talked. I don't know. Anyway, I knew they were making a trilogy, um, but you know the movie had come and gone. Um, mm-hmm. You know they were working on Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, uh, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, you know, hopefully, at some point, I'll I'll get a chance to to. I had actually auditioned for something on Righteous Gemstones, and um, so then. June of 2019, I get a call saying that they're writing, they're, they're 
you know, writing um, Halloween Kills, and they mm. want to know if I'd be interested in coming back. Mm. And uh, uh, my answer was, of course, absolutely. Yeah. And then, um, and then I don't hear anything for another month because <laughs> how <laughs> film works. It's like, hey, do you want to be in this movie? Yes. Okay, great. And then that's at the end of conversations <laughs> for a long time. And then uh, end of June, like the very end of June, I got another call saying like, hey, you're definitely going to be in the movie. Okay, great. Any more details? Nope. <laughs> oh, I have no idea when they're filming. Like, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I just know that apparently it's happening. So then a couple weeks later, it's like mid-August. Um, and I get a call on Monday saying, hey, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're super in the movie. Um, they're going to send you the script tomorrow. When can you go out to LA for, um, you know, various pre-production stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, uh, like, what do you mean when? And they were like, like this week, like, can you go on Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. Let me, let me mm -hmm. move, a, let me move some rehearsal dates and, and, and change my schedule a little bit, but yeah, I can do it. Um, and then, uh, so then, yeah, so that was mid, that was, that was Monday. I got the script on Tuesday. No, no, that was Monday. That was Monday. And then um, I got the script. I want to say I got the script Wednesday morning before my flight because I read wow. it in the airport. Wow. Tuesday, David called me and we talked about the movie. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I got the script on I want to say Wednesday, but I, no, yeah, I want to say Wednesday because I was in the airport. I remember distinctly, I was in the airport reading the script and I like made call. I, I like mm. <laughs> made calls be like, oh, I'm in this movie. Like if I, I assumed mm. my assumption was that if they were bringing me back, it was to do like a small callback to mm -hmm. 2018. So I was like, assuming like, oh, I, they're going to call me, they're bringing me back in because they want to do something like one quick scene or something. Um, which will be funny and a nice like nod to to the last one, mm -hmm. and then it wasn't until, yeah, it wasn't until I got that call about having to go to LA for pre production stuff that I was like, oh, oh, maybe it's more than just that. And then I well, then once I read the script and and talked to David, I was like, oh, oh no, I get I'm I'm like they want to make they want to they want to make me a character in this movie oh okay cool mm -hmm. great let's do this um so i got back from la on thursday um and then the next week is when i got dates like when i flew to la i didn't have dates i didn't i didn't know when we were filming like i still didn't know that mm -hmm. and I, I think i got i think i got that info the next week maybe or maybe like maybe david had told me a david had told me a potential date he was like eh, it'll be somewhere in here Mm -hmm. And then the next week is when I got like actual dates. Um, yeah. And then, you know, I had a few weeks, I was doing a play at the time and I had a few weeks and I had, a, I, you know, I, I basically got a, an email that was like, like I got off stage one Saturday night and got an email that was like, Hey, we can't wait to see you in town on Monday. Like, <laughs> what? Um, that was your heads up. <laughs> that was basically my heads up. Uh, and so I was like, all right great let me reschedule some stuff mm -hmm. and move my life around and yeah i was in i was in wilmington on on that monday um wow heading to like costume fittings and stuff uh and then the the yeah and then the week after that we were filming like it was it was very like one it was one of those things of like here's a you know it's the same thing with trailers it's the same thing mm -hmm. with waiting for the movie here's a here's a piece of information here's a piece of information here's a trailer and then, okay, now here's three weeks of us running to do it, mm -hmm. right? Um, it, was, it was basically that. And uh, I, yeah, I, I just, so I, I found out beginning of June. So not, I mean, if, if not too far before mm -hmm. they uh, publicly announced mm -hmm. working on the trailer and everything, working on the, the trilogy and everything. Yeah. And, um, but I didn't realize, I, like I said, I didn't, I didn't learn I didn't learn the details of like the character until mid August. And like you said, you know, you were surprised at, at how much they're developing um, who we now know who is Marcus and Vanessa, you know, formerly mm -hmm. 
hunky doctor and sexy nurse, and now they're mm -hmm. Marcus and Vanessa, and we're going to learn more about them. I mean, that's got to feel good that, you know, they did come back to you, and I, I think it speaks to, you know, David and the decision makers, but I also think it, it's, and I told Carmela this, I mean, it's got to speak to you guys' talents, too, that they saw just in, in that scene and working with you then um, that, yeah, these guys are worth coming back, because I imagine they probably could have gone another route and and had a just a new married couple possibly, and and maybe not that call back to 2018. But the fact that they they opted for this, I mean, that that's got to feel pretty good. It felt great. I I kept, the entire time, the minute they said that, the minute they mm -hmm. were like, "Hey, we'd like to bring you back," my I was like, "Absolutely." And then my initial response was, "Wait, that's wild." <laughs> yeah. You uh, and then I and then I immediately went back and rewatched 2018. I like, mm -hmm. I like went back and I was like, "Can you even see my face?" <laughs> like, not enough that you couldn't have gotten away with casting somebody else. Like, <laughs> I was like, "This is mm -hmm. uh, yeah." Like you said, it, I I took it as a, a great vote of confidence and, yeah. a, and a huge honor that like, you know, they they not only had enjoyed working with me enough, um, but you know, to the point of 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 like it needed to be us it needed to be Carmela and I and they didn't want to replace us they didn't want to make it anybody else they wanted us back specifically mm -hmm. and and that yeah I mean that felt that felt damn good like you know what I mean like it was just like yeah. it was it was overwhelming like to, to to sort of think about and then and it's been I mean such a great experience to, you know but like it was yeah, it was that was that was a heck of a feeling to get that and to and to sort of like as that sunk in, especially mm -hmm. as we got closer and then you know um, reading the script and getting on set and it, it was just like oh wow like there was there there are no small parts in any movies because you know they all you have to, like just show up and make like show up and make some sort of an impact and you have no idea uh what it'll lead to and 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 that's you mm -hmm. know this is such evidence of that because you know if we you know we could have we could have been any two characters doing any two things in 2018 um but but we left a, a undefinable enough mark that that when when building halloween kills you know they they wanted to bring us in as these characters so yeah it was super it was super exciting and especially once I read the script, seeing the way that they were doing it and why they were doing it, I was like, oh, this is very flattering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely a big deal and, and pretty awesome. And like you said, not, not something that you see all the time. Um, so do, do you know, remember how long you were on set this time? Was it a, a couple of weeks, I imagine? or I was on set one night for Halloween okay. 2018. And, mm -hmm. I was on, and we were on set, including pre-production, five five weeks mm -hmm. for halloween kills wow. um, and that doesn't count even the days you know in la for for, for mm -hmm. that pre-production stuff so yeah like five weeks five weeks up in wilmington um really cool city i like it i like spending i like spending five weeks there granted I, and I, I will say granted i spent five weeks on set mm -hmm. <laughs> in my hotel room and mm -hmm. then bebopping around Wilmington on the weekends. So mm -hmm. I like I don't know Wilmington that well, but I do I do have a sub shop that I found that I really liked. Very um, cool. Yeah, I, I found some I found some cool local eat spots uh, and a gym that I really enjoyed. So oh nice. <laughs> and and comic book stores they have really nice gaming and comic book stores which I'm a I'm a big board game and in comic oh, book yeah. nerd so I I sniffed all that stuff out while I was there but um yeah it was uh so yeah five weeks um five weeks mostly night shoots like mm -hmm. three straight weeks of just night shoots um and uh which is you know it's it's living upside down it, mm -hmm. it, it's living upside down you get used to it after a while you know ha um Halloween 2018 was one night shoot Mm -hmm. one night shoot always messes you up because you're just like oh i had to stay up all night <laughs> and i so so your sleep schedule is thrown off on either side of it but and and even like a but a week of night shoots it, you know especially if you like fortunately 
you know, filming the movie. I, I, I didn't have anything else to be doing but filming the movie. So a mm-hmm. lot easier. But when you're doing a week of night shoots, I've, I've done them where I've had like a week of, of on set, of, of a week of night shoots. And then like, you know, come, you're, you're sleeping at home. So come home and do like mm-hmm. home duties and raise children. And it's mm-hmm. very difficult because you're just, you're yeah. buying three or four hours of sleep here and there. Um, a month of, of night shoots becomes easy because that's the only schedule you're on. You know, you're, you know, you're, you're eating a, you're eating a, an 8 a.m. breakfast and then you're going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get into that rhythm though. And it just becomes your, your normal for that time, yeah. I guess. You basically have to, you have to get into the rhythm of it, which I did. I, I very quickly got into a rhythm for, I'm not a, I'm not a very good sleeper in, in general. So sleep is not something that comes easy to me. So going to bed at 8 a.m. and staying asleep until 6 p.m. is not something I can do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, w- I would get like a couple hours of sleep and then I'd be up at like noon. I'd be like, mm-hmm. oh God, you gotta go. You gotta get more sleep. You gotta get more sleep. <laughs> I'd, go, I'd go to the gym and I'd go find something to do to feel tired. And then I would come back and like sleep from like one or two until like six. I'm like, okay, great. That totals seven hours of sleep. I could go, I can go to set now. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously I have just a, a massively big change from, you know, the 2018 film to now you're here for, for almost a month. And, and um, but a lot of the same people, you know, behind the scenes and in front of the camera were, were back for this film. Um, people like James and, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, of course, David Gordon Green, a lot of pretty much the same crew behind the scenes. I imagine almost all of them. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, Carmela, you know, you guys reunited. So what was that like, you know, getting there and just kind of reuniting with, with everybody and seeing everybody again? I mean, was it was it kind of like a, just a, a, I imagine it was another kind of geek out moment of like, here we are again. You know, every time I, it's, it's so funny because working on Halloween Kills is such a like, oh, like it was such a cool time. You get to, you spend a lot of time, you know, the, the longer you're on a movie set, the more time you spend with the crew. And I love mm-hmm. the crew. I, I love, like I, said, I love working with everybody who does stuff over, over there with Rough House and any of this, whether it's, whether it's Halloween or Righteous Gemstones, like that crew is mm-hmm. top notch. I love working with them. Um, you know, working with David, I, it was all, it was working with David a lot more uh, and a lot closer than we did. You know, he, he's, he's, in, he's very hands-on with every yeah. aspect of the movie. So even in, in 2018, like he spoke to Carmela and I, like we, you know, we had conversations um, even, you know, about that scene, but it was, this was, you know, I mean, so much, so much more and, and yeah. speaking, you know, um, really getting into the heart of, of what we were there to do, getting to know, getting to, you know, spend more time with James was really cool. Um, mm-hmm. Um, he, you know, getting to know him a lot more and, and, <laughs> you know, seeing a lot more of the, the shape mask, <laughs> uh, or, yeah. well, no, the, yeah, um, mm-hmm. and, uh, and this is the entire thing. I, I will say having Carmela there was, was great because it was a nice, like, you know, we, I mean, we're, we're, we share every scene together. So, you know, we're, we're mm-hmm. basically every, every ride to and from set, you know, every, every uh, meal, every, you know, we're, 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 we're together during the mm-hmm. movie. So we, you know, we, we had each other's back. Like we were, it was very much like, okay, so there's all these like bigger celebrities and then there's me and you who are the hot new celebrities and we're just going to hang out with each other and mm-hmm. watch them and figure out how to be hot new celebrities. <laughs> That's awesome. um, yeah no, no it was and, and, and it's such a again so, I mean such an inviting yeah atmosphere of performers too I mean everyone you know David um you know David Anthony Michael Hall Kyle uh, Nancy I mean everybody super welcoming super um super great performers and professionals uh you know we we all had a blast like it was a you know we had a we had a nice little core knit group it's funny um you know jamie jamie lee curtis posted that uh, that shared that photo of the four Mm -hmm. of us together um me nancy kyle and and carmella and it's just like oh i miss our car rides so much like i got i was like oh i miss my little pocket of friends from set (laughs) that that is so cool and yeah that was a great image that she shared of of 
the four of you and, you know, two characters, of course, returning and mm -hmm. with their original actors, again, from the 78 original, of course, Kyle Richards and Nancy Stevens. And then, of course, you guys, you and Carmela, uh, returning from 2018. And yeah, Jamie Lee shared that that great image of the four of you and how, you know, this ties the 40, you know, the original uh, 43 year old film now um, and the 2018 film together through y'all's characters. And um, I was going to ask about that. Can you tell us a little bit about working with, I mean, it's a big deal for us fans of the franchise to have Nancy Stevens, Kyle Richards, Charles Cyphers, you know, these guys, these original performers coming back, reprising their roles. Um, it's a big deal for us. Can you, what, what was it like uh, working with them? Um, it, it, I mean, it was really cool. Like, you know, you, you for, you know, I, I, can't, I don't can't speak for them, you know, of their experience, but like it was really neat for you know having Kyle, who mm -hmm. you know hasn't done a Halloween thing since she was a child, so yeah. it was such a big, you know, thing of like, oh wow, like look, like that's a huge return. Um, having you know having having Nancy who has done Halloween things, it was it was funny because <laughs> like 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 Nancy, weren't you in Halloween H two O as well? Like, are they just gonna bring you back for movies every twenty years? Like, yeah. that's fine if they're gonna mm -hmm. do it. Like, I think that's very funny. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, cool. Don't she... call me again in twenty years. It's like, great. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But the, uh, Halloween, uh, Halloween sixty, yeah. Let's. Uh, <laughs> you gotta have Halloween... Nurse Marion back in it. You know, every twenty years. Yeah, Halloween H six O. It'll be great. Yeah, H six O. That's it. She'll be in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and and like I said, such such lovely people to spend time with and to work with. Um, you know, share like sharing car rides to and from set, sharing meals, like mm -hmm. just getting to know each other. Um, it, I mean, it, it was it was really cool, and it was just really cool too to be a part of this story that is so couched. You know, like I said, paying you know paying reference to 2018 through Carmela and I, but then paying mm -hmm. such reverence to the entire franchise yeah. through these other legacy characters. Um, it really was like, like that photo really did put it into perspective of what this movie is trying to do, which is bridge all the gaps, like, mm -hmm. you know, like sort of put all these sort of movies into this historical context. Like I, 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 we, I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool on set and I think it's super cool um, even now, as you know, as we near its release, uh, I I I think it's I think it's going to be really neat for fans. I think if if you've been following the Halloween movies for you know the last uh, forty three years, mm -hmm. um, then that I think I think there's a lot of really cool um, shout shout outs callbacks. Like yeah. I think it's I think it's neat. I th I just think it's super neat while maintaining, you know, while doing the important work, which is continuing to advance the story and continuing to tell a, a new tale in this world. It's, it's mm -hmm. The movie isn't just about nostalgia and just about reverence. Like, what I love about it is that David's, you know, David's using those those elements to tell this fresh tale and, and to try and make this this really interesting um, and really exciting point about, like you said, like we said, generational trauma and the effects it has yeah. not just on a family but also a community. Um, I I I think it's I think it's really cool, and I think it's really really smart not just to include you know the 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 legacy characters, but you know if you're including Carmela and I who missed the trauma right like mm. in the last film, but we're affected by the generational trauma without even yeah. knowing about it you know um I, I i yeah i i think it's i think it's super neat and I, I think it tells this really really cool story that you can only have told by bringing back some of these these legacy characters yeah and i do think it's cool like you said i mean you know um that the, the film without going into spoiler territory i mean i haven't seen the movie we haven't seen the movie, but um I, david gordon Green, best not to spoil what i know about the movie. <laughs> But David Gordon Green has said, you know, it's it's you know gonna deal with mob mentality and, and mob justice and and mm -hmm. that's gonna you know obviously you know has you know some real world parallels in some ways and um, and obviously some uh, social commentary there. Can you talk about that? Like how this film is 
balancing some some real life things, some of which they didn't even know. You guys couldn't know, you know, everything that was going to happen in the year 2020 um, when you were filming this film. But but yet some of it has has become kind of um, foreshadowing almost. It's funny. It is really funny, sort of seeing last year the like. I, I wonder, I, you know, I thought about this a couple of times. I'm like, I wonder what the impact, I wonder what this movie would have felt like if, if it had just released in 2020, there had been no incident, there had been no pandemic, there had been mm. no um, riots last year, like nothing had happened. You know, it had just been an, a regular, regular yeah. year, as much as we've been having regular years in the past, <laughs> what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like two decades. Mm. Um I, I, I think about that and then I think about like what the movie it says because you know because we've had all those things like mm -hmm. it's it's very interesting I, you know like I said I'm trying to speak without spoiling anything but sure. I do think the you know the 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 idea of um, mob justice and and a community rising up together against this threat, you know, it's very, it's very interesting. It's very, you know, like you said, it's very poignant for, for mm -hmm. a lot of the conversations that we've been having over the past year and a half. Um, but it's, you know, it's also, it also ties directly into, if you're gonna, you know, if you've got a character who for 43 years, right, has been, has been terrorizing and a community, it's not like, you know, like the, the, the Halloween movies are unique and a lot of the horror franchises are sort of unique and they, they, they haunt their haunts, right? Like whether it's, you know, whether it's Elm Street, whether it's um, Camp mm -hmm. Crystal Lake, whether it's Haddonfield, whether it's Woodsboro, yep. like these, these creatures constantly return to those stomping grounds and that, you know, people live there outside of the events of the movie. And, and if you, if you look in the universes of those war of those movies, like there would be like, children would have grown up knowing the story of what happened the, the the various returns and attacks would have affected families for generations so and and the idea of it happening again and happening in, you know in such in such a modern time where you know it is a lot easier for you know you talk about the 78 movie and like mm -hmm. there's a real possibility that people don't know the event like in in the world of ha in the world of halloween and haddonfield like mm -hmm. people would have missed those events until they read them in the paper a day or two later right yeah. um there's you know it's it's much harder to whip up mob justice but it's mm -hmm. super easy to do it now a few tweets go out and and here we are so you know i, I it's very interesting it's a, it's a really cool way to sort of approach the story of like at what point does a town stop a, like stop being victimized by a monster and start fighting back um and what does that look like you know mm -hmm. if, if they're looking for monsters what's a monster if they don't know then where you know who who will they point to what will that look like right yeah there's a reason we don't condone mob justice because it's not always because everyone in the mob's not informed Mm -hmm. right like you know mob yeah. justice does the mob know who they're looking for or are they just furious that there's a killer they don't know what he, mm -hmm. what you know what he looks like i i i i think um i think it's very very valid conversations to be having in this kind of movie with them with a uh, a creature that is powerful but not supernatural mm -hmm right and mm -hmm. then right and then mm -hmm. um uh and then and and you know characters like Lori who have been yelling against this mm -hmm. but you know everyone has sort of written off and now well nope she's very much right he's gone on a tear uh and what are we gonna do about it mm -hmm. oh, that sounds great um from your time on set, what what is your uh, what was the most challenging part that you can tell us about, and what was your best memory from being on set of Halloween Kills? Oh, okay. Oh man, good questions. Uh, most challenging thing was uh, that you can tell us about at least. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I could uh, <laughs> what, what I can say. There were some there were mm -hmm. some difficult shots. Mm -hmm. There were some difficult shots. There are some things that that 
uh, are just as an actor physically in space are just hard to do. Uh, ask me this question again in two weeks. Okay, all right, we can come back to that. <laughs> Not a there problem. Are things I really want to talk about, but ask me this question again in two weeks. That's a deal. A we can better we'll, we'll answer do that. about all right. that part of it. We'll uh, definitely come as, back as, to that. Especially as far as the challenges, like. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I mean, I, you know, I talked about it, but like, I don't know, living your life uh, in night shift, sh night mm -hmm. shoot mode yeah. is a challenge. But, you know, like I said, once you get used to it, it's fine. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to ask me that question later. Okay. <laughs> and then um, my favorite part of being on set, I mean, I don't, I, it's the whole thing, I, you mm -hmm. know, <clears throat> with, not to get too specific, but there are some scenes we shot at the beginning of, of my time on set that were just so much fun to shoot. I mean, just the crew, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. the extras, like it was just a blast shooting some of those early scenes. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there was stuff I had never got, like, I, I love it. I love it when I come to set and it's something I've never gotten a chance to do. I, I'm, I'm elated. I'm like a child. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, great. What are we doing? How do we do this? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I can't wait. Let's do it. Um, so any of that stuff, like any of the stuff that I, was new to me as a performer on film, I was like, yes, yeah. let's get into it. Um, uh, you know, we, um, I, yeah, I guess I can, I, like we shot a neighborhood. And so there was one night where just a group of people who were Halloween fans, I guess, just came out onto their porch and just kind of watched us film for a bit. And I mm -hmm. had like a down moment. So I just kind of walked over and was, like introduced myself and was like, yeah. hey, I'm working on the movie. Like, how you guys doing? Um, I can't tell you what we're doing down there, but like, <laughs> fun. If you like Halloween, you're going to really mm -hmm. like what we're doing. And like, that was really cool. I, I, I like, I like interacting with people who are fans. Um, yeah. And, 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 you know, I, I, I love it when people are fascinated by the process because I'm fascinated by the process, even though I've, I've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I, I'm never over it. So I do love it when other people are like, that's so cool. I'm like, I know, right? Let me explain how we do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, just the entire, you know, process. And, and I mean, yeah, just working with everybody, um, working with everybody, just, you know, watching david work like i i i'm a mm -hmm. i'm a big fan of stepping back at times and being like oh great i'm not in this shot cool i'm just gonna stand over here and watch what the camera department's doing i'm gonna watch yeah. i'm gonna watch michael set up a shot and see you know see just if i can see how his mind works on putting that stuff i'm gonna sit and watch david and the ad's and the script supervisor figure out where we're going next because i'm fascinated by just watching the different mm -hmm. departments do their work so, you know, I, I love all of that stuff. Um, I think that stuff is super cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. I just love, you know, filmmaking and, and just fascinated by the, the, the whole thing. I watch um, a lot of behind the scenes, but I've watched, I have devoured all the behind the scenes footage they keep releasing from oh, the yeah. movie. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm, I'm either like, I remember that day or, which is very surreal now to be like, mm -hmm. see behind the scenes footage and go, oh, I remember that day. Oh, well, yeah. a fun night. That's cool. And then seeing other behind the scenes stuff that I wasn't there for and just being like, huh, cool. Okay. I like, I just like watching this. That's really mm -hmm. cool. I recognize the guy. I don't know what they're filming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. Um, it's got to be pretty, pretty surreal right now, I imagine. Um, and again, I know you can't say too much, but what can you tell us right now about Marcus, your character? I mean, we we didn't know much about him uh, after 2018. We know from the trailers that obviously, and 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 from what you know, just from what we know that Vanessa and Marcus are going to have a much bigger part in this film. What can mm -hmm. you tell us about the character of Marcus? Ooh, what can I tell you? Um, so obviously he is uh, so he's in Halloween 2018. Mm -hmm. um, no, in 2018 you see Vanessa and Marcus on the way to a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. um, I think I can say that uh, you get to see what happened, you know, and they narrowly avoid a, a run in with Michael Myers. Yeah. You, you'll find out where they went. Okay um and um and and sort of see them get swept up in the fervor 
of mm-hmm. Michael Myers is attacking Haddonfield. What do we do? Yeah. Um, and clearly from the uh, press images, we mm-hmm. get swept up in, you know, in uh, swept up with um, Kyle and Nancy, um, mm-hmm. Lindsay and Marion. Yeah. Um, we, 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 we end up meeting them and getting swept up in uh, everything that's building with the, the hunt for Michael Myers through Haddonfield. Uh, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I think that's probably all I can actually say without giving away parts of the movie. Okay. Yeah, I think that's yeah. it. <laughs> I think yeah. that's all I can actually say without giving away parts of the movie. I will say that it's, I, it was fun getting to um, getting to play Marcus in this movie. There's a lot going on that I it was it was neat to just get to like react to yeah uh, as, as someone who's like legitimately like swept up basically swept up in a story mm-hmm. that, they, that their character was not intending to enter at all like it, and that was that was really really fun to just sort of like react mm-hmm. to the escalating non like the escalating nightmare of the evening um and uh, yeah, I don't. I'm proud. I'm proud of the work. I'm pr- super proud of like the character arc that he goes mm-hmm. through. I think he has a really cool. Um, I, there were some moments that I'm very, very proud of. Um, try to speak as vaguely. There are some moments that I think are that I hope are as funny as I. They, I felt like they were on set. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I do hope that they're funny because um, they were. I like I said. I, I I played them straight. People thought they were funny on set. I thought I was like, oh, I feel, feel like that landed. So there are <laughs> moments that I hope are I hope continue to be funny in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that all sounds that all sounds great. With it just being days away. And like I said earlier, I mean, Michael Myers is everywhere. And like we've been talking about, this is a 43-year-old franchise. This is the 12th film in the franchise. It's, as I'm sure you're well aware, it's got a massive fan base, very passionate, uh, sometimes vocal fan base. Um, mm-hmm. And and you're a part of that now. You know, you, I mean, you were, you were a part of it after 2018, but you're, definitely a, a part of it now i mean there, there's, yeah there's a handful of people that have been in more than one halloween film much less one and and you're in that club now um so what are you feeling right now just a few days away from the release of the film after after a year's delay and two years after filming wrapped here we are and you're a part of this legacy now so how does that feel I can't wait to actually see it. <laughs> like, like it's, yeah. I, it, I mean, it's this is the longest. This is mm. the longest I've had to wait for a project to 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 be released to finally see it. And it's it's been a it's been a heck of a wait. I was really excited for it last year. I was really disappointed that it got delayed. I mm. am super excited to see it um, this time. You know, I I I I just want. I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited for people to see it. I'm excited to finally get a chance to see it. Uh, I have seen parts of it. I've seen, you know, I've, I've, mm-hmm. I've, I've seen it just through working on it. So, and, and, uh, you know, ADR stuff and stuff. Mm-hmm. So there are, there are bits of it that I have seen. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm, I'm, there are parts of the movie that I, I still don't know what happens. Um, I, I don't, I don't think I know the ending. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure my script just ended. And it didn't include the ending, so I don't I don't know what happens in the like final few minutes. So I'm I'm just as in the dark as everybody else is. Um, I you know I'm 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 excited about it, and it's very surreal that it's almost that it's almost actually here. Um, mm. you, know, you, you sort of I don't know if other people do this. For me, you know, I I I some one of the best ways to operate. In, in in show business, especially if you're you know constantly auditioning and, and mm-hmm. is is to, to operate with out of sight, out of mind yeah. sometimes. Like, you know, you, you send off an audition that you're super excited about and you I you let yourself think about it for like six hours. And then after that you forget that you even auditioned and you move on with your life because you may or may not hear about it. Mm-hmm. And and this never got to that point. I've been waiting for this movie to come out since we wrapped, but mm-hmm. 
you know, at a certain point, it was like, okay, well, all right, it's uh, I'm just I, I'm now I I I stopped being able to think about to to, to imagine seeing it, right? Like at one point last year, I was like, oh, maybe I'll never see the movie. <laughs> like that's, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. They're gonna release Halloween Kills. You're gonna see the movie. Um, but it is it is surreal to know that like it's just a few days away, and that like mm-hmm. so many people will see it, and everyone's super excited about it. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna feel finally watching it. Um, but I am excited. I'm, I'm as excited as anybody else. Um, I am like you know I. I, I, I really, enjoy, I loved working on it and, and I'm super, I can't wait till it comes out. Cause once like, here's, here's, here's the other thing that I've been super waiting on. Right. So, mm. uh, I had the thought immediate, almost immediately after, but certainly beginning of last year, I was like, man, Halloween kills is going to come out. And that's huge. Like that's such a huge thing to have gotten the chance to work on. And I was, I was like, I'm going to get a tattoo to commemorate that movie. Cause that's going to have now been, I've done two of them. It's very mm-hmm. important to me. Um, so I was going to get, I, I'm going to eventually get like the Michael Myers knife as mm-hmm. a tattoo with like the dates in it. And I'm glad I didn't do that before. Cause I was going to get the original <laughs> dates. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I didn't. So now I'm like, okay, please just come out, just come out so that I can say it came out on this day. So I can go mm-hmm. get this tattoo. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad I waited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably, that, probably a good had, idea. I would have had last year's dates as a yeah. tattoo, and people would have been like, "But that's not when it came out, is it?" Like, no. Those <laughs> the original, commemorate the original uh, release date. The original release date. Yeah, yeah. before yeah, it no, was I'm, delayed. I, I don't know when I'm going to get the tattoo, but I want the movie. To, once the movie comes out, I'm going to probably be like, "Okay, now I got to get this tattoo." Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm like it's it's just such a cool feeling to know that it's it's gonna come out to know that people are super excited about it and and I can't wait to like you know I, I can't wait to see it to, to share it with people to talk to people about it yeah. um, see what my wife thinks like I keep asking about yeah. it I'm like this is one of your favorite movie franchises the last one it was fine because I was like in mm-hmm. one scene. But like, is it gonna be weird if I'm in a bunch of the movie? And she was like, I don't know. We'll have to see. Like, I was like, okay. I think that's I a great. Know. That's a great point. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, as a as, as a big fan of the franchise, it, what, how is she gonna watch this one as compared to how she was able to, to watch the last one? And I'm but I imagine curious. she's pretty excited right now too. Probably she's super excited. I'm very curious to see what she thinks of it and what yeah. she thinks of watching of it even though I'm in it. Like, yeah, is it going to take her out of it? Or is mm-hmm. she going to be fine watching it? Am I going to be able to watch it as a movie or am I going to be taken out of it? One thing that'll be super cool, because it got delayed, it's actually now coming out on our anniversary, our 10-year anniversary. Oh, wow. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It ended up being, the, the delay ended up making that a very nice, perfect little day for us. So You, uh, you got the perfect date night uh, planned <laughs> out already. Hey, let's go see this movie. Don't even have to think about it, right? <laughs> Hey, happy, hey, uh, happy, anniversary. happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Let's go do this thing I got to do for work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. We're, we're both super excited about it. And it's, it, you know, it was, it's the, it's the coolest, it's the coolest uh, film project I've gotten to do so far. Um, and I, I can't wait to do more. And I, I, um, I can't wait for everybody to see it. Oh, well, I know we're super excited and speaking for, for our viewers and readers and, and our friends, I mean, we're all fans and, and just couldn't be more excited and right now. And everything that, that you've told us and, and everybody we've talked to that has been a part of this new film, I mean, it sounds like it was a really special experience on set, which is great because everybody I talked to from 2018 kind of kind of expressed that as well. So that's great to hear. And then just everything I'm hearing as far as like, what we little we know about the plot and, and what's to come, it sounds really good. Like it's gonna um, be a fan favorite, I feel like. And, and I'm sure they're gonna uh, be happy to, to welcome you into the Penfield family. I mean, you, you and Carmela, you're already part of it, like I said, after the last film, but, uh, but even more so this, this time, I'm sure. And I can't, uh, I, I, can't I, I keep thinking to myself that I can't think about this without like being like no but what if but no but like I'm like oh what if I get invited to conventions yeah I, lo- I love conventions 
Yeah, and somebody who <laughs> loves conventions, I mean, that's going to be, yeah. I mean, you are you might have cosplayers coming as Marcus after this. I mean, you, you realize that? Like, I would. I if, would. You, if you're at a convention, I mean, I could see this, not to get ahead of ourselves, but I could see this being a couple's costume at horror <laughs> conventions moving forward. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm going to giggle. I mean, I'm going to lose my mind if I see that. If that, I, if that happens, I'm going to nerd out so bad. I'm going to demand that they take pictures with me every single time I see it. Because I'm going to be like, look at this. Look how cool this is. Ah! I bet it's going to happen. I'm, I'm calling it now. Within, yeah, within a year after the release of the film, I bet you we start seeing couples costumes of, of Marcus and Vanessa at some of these conventions. It's going to be awesome. You heard it here first, and I will be a giggling schoolgirl at any of those conventions if I see it, <laughs> so please come up and say, hey, I'll be the guy, like, geeking out at your costume. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so awesome. Um, and yeah, I feel like, we, you know, we'll have to do a follow-up like after the film comes out. I, I talked to yeah. Car Carmela about doing this as well. And, yeah. you know, I'd love to talk to you guys again at some point after it's out. And then we can have a whole other conversation about everything that we can't talk about and, and that I don't know about yet. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to have a whole another um, conversation then that, that will be fun. So hopefully Absolutely. we can do that. Feel free, because there there are certainly things that like I would love to talk about yeah. that I can't, but that would be just that are I'm like this would be such a cool thing. I really want to tell people. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about how we did this anyway. Yes, please yeah. ask me ask me back after the movie co comes out, absolutely. and then I can feel very comfortable being like, okay, now I can talk about this. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll plan on it. And um, before we go, I gotta just ask outside of this franchise. I, I see that you've got a community podcast, and I haven't listened to it yet, but I am a big community fan, and oh, it's called, cool. uh, it's Welcome to Greendale, right? It can is, can yeah. you tell us just a little bit about that? I love that show. Um, so, yeah, huge fan, huge community fan over here. Um, my wife and I are both big fans, and uh, we decided to do a podcast um, about community called Welcome to Greendale, in which we take our friend Sadia, who has never watched community, um, and we go mm -hmm. through episode by episode, the two of us, long, long time fans, um, mm -hmm. I, I've seen every episode of community, like, saw, like watched it while it was airing, you know, mm -hmm. fan from back in the day, um, you know, uh, six seasons of the movie. My wife, a uh, longtime fan, watched it back in the day, but mm -hmm. never watched the final season. So she's never seen season six. Okay. And Sadia has never seen a single episode. So it's us going week, you know, an mm -hmm. episode at a time through the show. We, we as fans are rediscovering the show while walking a Greendale newbie mm -hmm. through uh, the show and... Yeah getting her reactions to it. I mean, you know, it's 10 years on. So mm -hmm. her reactions to it, our reactions to it, revisiting it. Um, it's, it's our tangents that are inspired by it. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, such a fun podcast to work on. We have a blast. It's so hard because it's community <laughs> and I want to just binge it. And I can't, I have to watch <laughs> one episode a week. Mm -hmm. I have not rewatched an episode of community since we started this podcast in 2019. And it is hard to yeah. just be like oh i can't watch community unless we're recording and i can't i can't watch any i'm not watching any episodes moving forward <laughs> that we haven't gotten to so i'm just rediscovering the show an episode at a time it, but it is really making me like you know completely fall back in love with it mm -hmm. in, in, this, in this deeper way and and really appreciate man when you're not binging them you really appreciate the differences in episodes yeah um and how smart each episode actually oh, is. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, had, we've been going. We're seventy six episodes in, seventy seven okay. episodes in. Um, so we're, you know, we're in season four, and mm -hmm. I have identified maybe two episodes of Community that I can point to and say that's a bad episode of TV. Mm -hmm. Like maybe two that I yeah. can't find anything in that I did, and even, even the bad ones have bits in them that I'm like oh yeah that's mm -hmm. a great bit I love that yeah. moment but yeah I mean I've like it's been it's it's really made me appreciate the show in this this whole new light and maybe watch it much slower and we're mm -hmm. just such huge fans we love it it's been great we had Megan Gantz on one episode which oh, that's was cool. super fun she came on to talk about documentary filmmaking redux my favorite episode <laughs> um 
Yeah, no, it's been lovely. Welcome to Greendale. It's just been such a blast to work on it. We absolutely love it. It's going to be, it's going to end one day and I'm just going to be so sad. <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then you guys can do it again and bring somebody else in, like another newbie maybe listen, in or something. Listen, or, uh, don't you tempt to... me, I'll do it. I'll <laughs> just do it. keep going like, over, and over and over and over. Right. Who's me. next? Who's next? Who's right. next? <laughs> From the top, one more time. Yep. <laughs> It is it is a great show though. It is it's so fun and like you said, just so smart. And they had some really great Halloween episodes in those years as well. I loved their Halloween episodes. Yep. There's not a there's not a bad one. We we, <laughs> we actually just finished we we did the season four Halloween mm-hmm. episode and then we were talking about which ones we think are our favorites and where they rank and it's mm-hmm. just they're all so good. They are. Ugh. Yeah, I was thinking like how I would rank those Halloween up and yeah it's so hard to it's so hard to to, to rank them they're all so good and so uh, fun. I think I think I go I think I go two one four three I think that's my ranking two one four three okay yeah season two season one season mm-hmm. four and season three is my yeah. ranking of them none of them are bad that's just the yeah. order I put them in yeah very cool I love that that is awesome. So everybody, if you're a community fan, if you're not, then check out the show. If you're, if you're not a community up. fan, it just means you haven't watched Community yet. You should definitely right. jump exactly. on that. It if just you means are you a community seen fan it. and you really want some supplemental stuff, check out our podcast. You might like yep. it. If you're not a community fan, check out our podcast and watch along with us so that you become a community fan. Come on. This is, this is a no-brainer. No there you go. There you go. You got no <laughs> excuse. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, man. Well, this has been awesome. Just just getting to know more about you and uh, geeking out here a little bit. Um, this has been great. And I know um, I know everybody is, you know, just going to enjoy getting to know more about you. And uh, and like I said, we're definitely going to do this again after the film comes out. And then we will have a whole other conversation about all the uh, spoilery stuff that we can't talk about right now. And, Ten days. Um, and that's going to be a blast as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. Like, like, yeah. Anytime. Anytime. Awesome. Well, Michael, again, I can't thank you enough for doing this today. Um, it's, it, this has been great. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. It's been awesome. Happy Halloween. <laughs>